Hello, everyone. Welcome to this new series video, Motion Control series video. In this series video, we will mainly talk about the Siemens, Backoff, Omron, or Alan Brandley motion control topics. Frankly speaking, I have been preparing this series video for a couple of months. I have been working in automation industry this area for almost 15 years. I'm very glad to share my knowledge and experience on this motion control topic. When we talk about the motion control, basically it covers the PLC programming and the drive technology knowledge, for example, commissioning the VFD server and the server motor. Also, it might include the mechatronics knowledge, for example, how the mechanical run. Basically, it covers the PLC and the drive and the mechanical knowledge. To program the motion control, it doesn't quite like controlling the valve or cylinder that easy because this area comes up a lot of mechanical knowledge and the drive, the server motor optimization knowledge. And if we stand from the drive system, this motion control also need a programming knowledge. So the motion control need a lot of overlap knowledge. This is one of my key motivation to set up this new series video. In this series video, I will run as a starter to demonstrate how we can learn the motion control in Siemens, Backoff, or Omron this area. One of the reasons for me to show the Siemens, Backoff, or the Omron motion control, that's because the Siemens provide the Perfinite communication, especially the IRT. Perfinite IRT, isochronous real time, is very important for the motion control. And Backoff and Omron provide the EtherCAD communication from the controller to the drive. Both Perfinet and the EtherCAD provide the real-time communication. And from Rockwell Allen Bradley side, they called time synchronize. When we try to search or browse the motion control about the Siemens, Backoff, Omron, or Allen Bradley from the website or from the YouTube or from some videos, actually the information and the material, they are not so rich. It's not that simple as a programming PLC only or commissioning the drive system only. So it need to come up some knowledge together. So this is my second motivation to set up this series video. I would like to show or demonstrate how can we step by step to set up the motion control. The third motivation to do this video, as we can see Siemens or Backoff or Omron, they probably provide some videos. However, we will find most of those videos will mainly talk about the production. They are production oriented. It's rare to find how we can do the commissioning, how we can set up the concept on the motion control system. So in this series video, I will try to run as a starter to show how can we search some useful information or efficient material to set up our motion control concept. And let's set up the motion control from very simple task to a middle and a little bit of complex motion control task. Let's do that step by step. And I will share all the materials and the documents I can find from the website. And there's no hidden information from these videos. All right, this is a brief open speech. In next video, I will list nine questions, basically show when we try to learn the Siemens motion control, what the basic question we would have. Basically, those nine questions will help you to have a rough idea on the Siemens motion control and will help you to step in this motion control world. All right, see you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.